The Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church UGCC, Ukrainian, Ukrainska greco katoliska Serkva UK translate. Ukrainska greco katoliska Serkva, Latin, Ecclesia greco katholica Ukraini is a Byzantine Rite Eastern Catholic Church in full communion with the Holy See. It is the second largest particular church sui juris in the Catholic Church after the Latin, or Roman, Church. The Church is one of the successor churches to the acceptance of Christianity by Grand Prince Vladimir the Great of Kiev, in 988. Its predecessor appeared in 1596 with the signing of the Union of Brest between the Ruthenian Orthodox Church Polish -Lithuanian Commonwealth led by Michael Rojoza and the Holy See. Following the partitions of Poland, in 1808 the eparchies of the original Ruthenian Uniate Church Latin, Ecclesia Ruthena Unita were split three ways between the Austrian Empire 3, Prussia 1, and the Russian Empire 5. Those three eparchies under Austrian jurisdiction were reorganized as the Greek Catholic Church soon after liquidation of all five eparchies that ended up in Russia. The Greek Catholic Church in Austria became a survivor of the original Uniate Church of the Brest Union the other being the Ujorod Union. In 1963 the Church was recognized as Ukrainian through the efforts of Yosef Slipy. The Ordinary or hierarch of the Church holds the title of Major Archbishop of Kiev Halic and all Ruthenia, though the hierarchs and faithful of the Church have acclaimed their ordinary as Patriarch and have requested papal recognition of, and elevation to, this title. Major Archbishop is a unique title within the Catholic Church that was introduced in 1963 as part of political compromise. Since March 2011 the head of the Church is Major Archbishop Sviatoslav Shevchuk. Within Ukraine itself, the UGCC is a minority of the religious population, being a distant second to the majority Eastern Orthodox faith. The Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church is the second largest religious organization in Ukraine in terms of number of communities. In terms of number of members, the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church ranks third in allegiance among the population of Ukraine after the Ukrainian Orthodox Church Moscow Patriarchate and the Ukrainian Orthodox Church – Kiev Patriarchate. Currently, the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church predominates in three western oblasts of Ukraine, including the majority of the population of Lviv, but constitutes a small minority elsewhere in the country. The Church has followed the spread of the Ukrainian diaspora and now has some 40 hierarchs in over a dozen countries on four continents, including three other metropolitan bishops in Poland, the United States, and Canada. History Ruthenian Orthodox Church and previous attempts of Catholic Union Topic. The Ruthenian Greek Catholic Church was created with the Union of Brest in 1595–1596, yet its roots go back to the very beginning of Christianity in the medieval Slavic state of Ruthenia. Byzantine missionaries exercised decisive influence in the area. The 9th-century mission of Saints Cyril and Methodius in Great Moravia had particular importance as their work allowed the spread of worship in the Old Church Slavonic language. The Byzantine Greek influence continued, particularly with the official adoption of Byzantine rites by Prince Vladimir I of Kiev in 988 when there was established the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople Metropolis of Kiev and all Ruthenia. Later at the time of the Great Schism CA 1054, the Ruthenian Russian Church took sides and remained Orthodox. Following the devastating Mongol invasion of Ruthenia and sack of Kiev in 1240, Metropolitan Maximus of Kiev moved to the town of Vladimir on Klyasma in 1299. In 1303 on petition of Ruthenia kings from the Kingdom of Galicia Volhynia Ruthenia, Patriarch Athanasius I of Constantinople created a separate metropolis of Halic that included western parishes of the original metropolis of Kiev and all Ruthenia. The new metropolis did not last for long inconsistently throughout most of the 14th century and its new metropolitan Peter of Moscow was consecrated as the Metropolitan of Kiev and all Ruthenia instead of Metropolitan of Halic. Just before his death Peter moved his episcopal see from Vladimir to Moscow. During his reign there was established Metropolitanate of Lithuania in the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, while after his death Metropolis of Halic was re-established as well. In 1445 the Metropolitan Isidore with his see in Moscow joined the Council of Florence and became a papal legate of all Ruthenia and Lithuania. 
After Isidore suffered prosecutions by local bishops and royalty of the Grand Duchy of Moscow, he was banned away from Muscovy, while the Muscovite princes appointed own Metropolitan Jonah of Moscow without consent of the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople. Because of that Patriarch Gregory III of Constantinople reorganized the Ruthenian Church in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth until 1569 the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and its new primates were titled as Metropolitans of Kiev, Halic and all Ruthenia. He appointed Gregory II Bulgarian as the new Greek Catholic primate who in 1470 rejoined the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople under Dionysus I of Constantinople. Topic. Ruthenian Greek Catholic Church Topic. This situation continued for some time, and in the intervening years what is now Western and Central Ukraine came under the rule of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The Polish king Sigismund III Vasa was heavily influenced by the ideals of the Counter-Reformation and wanted to increase the Catholic presence in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the clergy of the Ruthenian lands were ruled from distant Constantinople, and much of the population was loyal to Ruthenian orthodoxy rather than to the Polish Catholic monarch. Persecution of the Orthodox population grew, and under pressure of Polish authorities the clergy of the Ruthenian Church agreed by the Union of Brest in 1595 to break from the Patriarchate of Constantinople and unite with the Catholic Church under the authority of the ruler of the Commonwealth, Sigismund III Vasa, in exchange for ending the persecution. In an effort to stop further Polonization processes and recent recognition of the Moscow Patriarchate by Jeremiah's II of Constantinople, in 1596 the Ruthenian Orthodox Church signed the agreement with the Holy See. The union was not accepted by all the members of the Ruthenian Orthodox Church in these lands, and marked the creation of Greek Catholic Church and separate eparchies that continued to stay Orthodox among which were Lviv Eparchy, Paramecial Eparchy, Mukachevo Eparchy and Lutske Eparchy that at first accepted the union but later oscillated back and forth. The conflict between Orthodox and Greek Catholics tried to be extinguished by adopting articles for pacification of Ruthenian people in 1632. Following that in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth legally existed both churches with Metropolitans of Kiev, one, Joseph Veliamin Rutsky, Greek Catholic, and another, Peter Mogola, Orthodox. <laughs> Russian occupation of Poland and the Uniate Church in Russia after the partition of Poland, the formerly Ruthenian Uniate Church territory was mostly divided between Russian Empire and Austrian Empire. The portion which came under Russian rule, included right bank Ukraine, modern Belarus and eastern Lithuania, while eparchies dioceses of Lviv, Kom, and Paramecial as part of eastern Galicia came under Austrian rule. In the easternmost areas of Podolia the existing Uniate Churches reverted to Orthodoxy. The Russian Emperor Pavel I of Russia restored the Uniate Church which was reorganized with three eparchies suffragan to Metropolitan Bishop Joasaphat Bullock. The Church was allowed to function without restraint calling its adherents Basilians. However the clergy soon split into pro-Catholic and pro-Russian, with the former tending to convert to Latin Rite Catholicism, whilst the latter group, led by Bishop Iosif Samoshko and firmly rejected by the ruling Greek Catholic Synod remained largely controlled by the pro-Polish clergy with the Russian authorities largely refusing to interfere. Following the Congress of Vienna, the Russian Empire occupied former Austrian Poland of so-called West Galicia and, temporarily, Tarnopol district, where in 1809 was established a separate metropolitan of Galicia. The territory of Kom Eparchy along with central Polish territories became part of the Congress of Poland. The situation changed abruptly following Russia successful suppression of the 1831 Polish uprising, aimed at overthrowing Russian control of the Polish territories. As the uprising was actively supported by the Greek Catholic Church, a crackdown on the Church occurred immediately. The pro-Latin members of the Synod were removed, and the Church began to disintegrate, with its parishes in Volhynia reverting to Orthodoxy, including the 1833 transfer of the famous Pochave Lavra. In 1839 the Synod of Palatsik in modern-day Belarus, under the leadership of Bishop Samoshko, dissolved the Greek Catholic Church in the Russian Empire, and all its property was transferred to the Orthodox State Church. 
The 1913 Catholic Encyclopedia says that in what was then known as Little Russia, now Ukraine, the pressure of the Russian government utterly wiped out Greek Catholicism, and some seven million of the Uniates there were compelled, partly by force and partly by deception, to become part of the Greek Orthodox Church. The dissolution of the Greek Catholic Church in Russia was completed in 1875 with the abolition of the Eparchy of Com. Topic: Reorganization and establishment of Greek Catholic Church under the Habsburg Monarchy. Topic: Elimination of Ruthenian Catholicism within the Russian Empire began early in the 19th century. In 1803 the Pope of Rome granted the transfer of the quasi-patriarchal powers of the major archiepiscopate of Kiev, Halic and all Rus to the Metropolitan of Lviv Lemberg in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Suffragan sees included ivano frankisk then called Stanislav and Chemizel. By the end of the century, those remaining faithful to this church began emigrating to the U.S., Canada, and Brazil. The territory received by Austria-Hungary in the partition of Poland included Galicia, modern western Ukraine, and southern Poland. Here, the Greek Catholic Ruthenian Ukrainian peasantry had been largely under Polish Roman Catholic domination. The Austrians granted equal freedom of worship to the Greek Catholic Church and removed Polish influence. They also mandated that Uniat seminarians receive a formal higher education previously, priests had been educated informally by their fathers, and organized institutions in Vienna and Lviv that would serve this function. This led to the appearance, for the first time, of a large, educated class within the Ukrainian population in Galicia. It also engendered a fierce sense of loyalty to the Habsburg dynasty. When Polish rebels briefly took control of Lviv in 1809, they demanded that the head of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, Anton Anhelovich, substitute Napoleon's name in the Divine Liturgy for that of Austrian Emperor Francis II. Anhelovich refused, and was imprisoned. When the Austrians retook control over Lviv, Anhelovich was awarded the Cross of Leopold by the Emperor. As a result of the reforms, over the next century the Greek Catholic Church in Austrian Galicia ceased being a puppet of foreign interests and became the primary cultural force within the Ukrainian community. Most independent native Ukrainian cultural and political trends such as Rusinophilia, Russophilia, and later Ukrainophilia emerged from within the ranks of the Greek Catholic Church clergy. The participation of Greek Catholic priests or their children in Western Ukrainian cultural and political life was so great that Western Ukrainians were accused of wanting to create a theocracy in Western Ukraine by their Polish rivals. Among the political trends that emerged, the Christian social movement was particularly linked to the Ukrainian Catholic Church. Many people saw the Austrians as having saved the Ukrainians and their church from the Poles, though it was the Poles who set into motion the Greek Catholic caste of their church. Topic. Soviet annexation of the West Ukraine and liquidation of the Church Topic. After World War I, Ukrainian Greek Catholics found themselves under the governance of the nations of Poland, Hungary, Romania and Czechoslovakia. Under the previous century of Austrian rule, the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church attained such a strong Ukrainian national character that in interwar Poland, the Greek Catholics of Galicia were seen by the nationalist Polish and Catholic state as even less patriotic than the Orthodox Volhynians. Extending its Polonization policies to its eastern territories, the Polish authorities sought to weaken the UGCC. In 1924, following a visit with Ukrainian Catholic believers in North America and Western Europe, the head of the UGCC was initially denied re-entry to Lwów, the Polish name at the time for Lviv, only being allowed back after a considerable delay. Polish Roman Catholic priests, led by their Latin bishops, began missionary work among Greek Catholics, and administrative restrictions were placed on the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church. After World War II, Ukrainian Catholics came under the rule of Communist Poland and the hegemony of the Soviet Union. With only a few clergy invited to attend, a synod was convened in Lviv, Lvov, which revoked the Union of Brest. Officially all of the church property was transferred to the Russian Orthodox Church under the Moscow Patriarchate, most of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic clergy went underground. This catacomb church was strongly supported by its diaspora in the Western Hemisphere. Emigration to the U.S. and Canada, which had begun in the 1870s, increased after World War II. 
In the winter of 1944–1945, Ukrainian Greek Catholic clergy were summoned to re-education sessions conducted by the NKVD. Near the end of the war in Europe, the state media began an anti-Ukrainian Catholic campaign. The creation of the community in 1596 was discredited in publications, which went to great pains to try to prove the church was conducting activities directed against Ukrainians in the first half of the 20th century. In 1945, Soviet authorities arrested, deported, and sentenced to forced labor camps in Siberia and elsewhere the church's metropolitan Yosef Slipy and nine other Greek Catholic bishops, as well as hundreds of clergy and leading lay activists. In Lviv alone, 800 priests were imprisoned. All the above-mentioned bishops and significant numbers of clergymen died in prisons, concentration camps, internal exile, or soon after their release during the post-Stalin thaw. The exception was Metropolitan Yosef Slipy who, after 18 years of imprisonment and persecution, was released thanks to the intervention of Pope John XXIII. Slipy took refuge in Rome, where he received the title of Major Archbishop of Lviv, and became a cardinal in 1965. The clergy who joined the Russian Orthodox Church were spared the large-scale persecution of religion that occurred elsewhere in the country see religion in the Soviet Union. In the city of Lviv, only one church was closed at a time when many cities in the rest of Ukraine did not have a working church. Moreover, the western dioceses of Lviv Ternopil and Ivano Frankivsk were the largest in the USSR and contained the majority of the Russian Orthodox Church's cloisters, particularly convents, of which there were seven in Ukrainian SSR but none in Russia. Orthodox canon law was also relaxed on the clergy, allowing them to shave beards, a practice uncommon to Orthodoxy, and conduct liturgy in Ukrainian as opposed to Church Slavonic. The Ukrainian Catholics continued to exist underground for decades and were the subject of vigorous attacks in the state media. The clergy gave up public exercise of their clerical duties, but secretly provided services for many lay people. Many priests took up civilian professions and celebrated the sacraments in private. The identities of former priests could have been known to the Soviet police who regularly watched them, interrogated them and put fines on them, but stopped short of arrest unless their activities went beyond a small circle of people. New secretly ordained priests were often treated more harshly, the church even grew during this time, and this was acknowledged by Soviet sources. The first secretary of the LVOV Komsomol, Oleksiy Babychik, claimed, in this oblast, particularly in the rural areas, a large number of the population adheres to religious practices, among them a large proportion of youth. In the last few years, the activity of the Uniates Ukrainian Catholics has grown, that of representatives of the Uniates as well as former Uniate priests, there are even reverberations to renew the overt activity of this church. After Stalin died, Ukrainian Catholics hoped this would lead to better conditions for themselves, but such hopes were dashed in the late 1950s when the authorities arrested even more priests and unleashed a new wave of anti-Catholic propaganda. Secret ordinations occurred in exile. Secret theological seminaries in Ternopil and Kolomia were reported in the Soviet press in the 1960s when their organizers were arrested. In 1974, a clandestine convent was uncovered in Lviv. During the Soviet era, the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church did flourish throughout the Ukrainian diaspora. Cardinal Yosef Slipy was jailed as a dissident but named in Pector in secret a cardinal in 1949. He was freed in 1963 and was the subject of an extensive campaign to have him named as a patriarch, which met with strong support as well as controversy. Pope Paul VI demurred, but compromised with the creation of a new title of Major Archbishop assigned to Yosef Slipy on 23 December 1963, with a jurisdiction roughly equivalent to that of a patriarch in an Eastern Church. This title has since passed to Miroslav Ivan Lubashevsky in 1984 and thereafter to Lubomir Husser in 2000 and Sviatoslav Shevchuk in 2011. This title has also been granted to the heads of three other Eastern Catholic Churches. In 1968, when the Ukrainian Catholic Church was legalized in Czechoslovakia, a large-scale campaign was launched to harass recalcitrant clergy who remained illegal. These clergy were subject to interrogations, fines and beatings. 
In January 1969 the KGB arrested an underground Catholic bishop named Vasil Velichkovsky and two Catholic priests, and sentenced them to three years of imprisonment for breaking anti-religious legislation. Activities that could lead to arrest included holding religious services, educating children as Catholics, performing baptisms, conducting weddings or funerals, hearing confessions or giving the last rites, copying religious materials, possessing prayer books, possessing icons, possessing church calendars, possessing Discussing religious books or other sacred objects. Conferences were held to discuss how to perfect the methodology in combating Ukrainian Catholicism in the West Ukraine. At times, the Ukrainian Catholics attempted to employ legal channels to have their community recognized by the state. In 1956 1957, there were petitions to the proper authorities to request for churches to be opened. More petitions were sent in the 60s and 70s, all of which were refused. In 1976, a priest named Volodymyr Prokipov was arrested for presenting such a petition to Moscow. The response to these petitions by the state had been to sharpen attacks against the community. In 1984 a Samizdat chronicle of the Catholic Church began to be published by Ukrainian Catholics. The founder of the group behind this publication, Yosef Terelia, was arrested in 1985 and sentenced to seven years imprisonment and five years of exile. His successor, Vasily Kobrin, was arrested and sentenced to three years of exile. The Solidarity Movement in Poland and Pope John Paul II supported the Ukrainian Catholics. The state media attacked John Paul II. The anti religious journal Ludina Isvit Man and the World published in Kiev wrote Proof that the Church is persistently striving to strengthen its political influence in socialist countries is witnessed by the fact that Pope John Paul II gives his support to the émigré hierarchy of the so-called Ukrainian Catholic Church. The current tactic of Pope John Paul II and the Roman Curia lies in the attempts to strengthen the position of the Church in all socialist countries as they have done in Poland, where the Vatican tried to raise the status of the Catholic Church to a state within a state. In the last few years, the Vatican has paid particular attention to the question of Catholicism of the Slavonic nations. This is poignantly underscored by the Pope when he states that he is not only a Pope of Polish origin, but the first Slavic Pope, and he will pay particular attention to the Christianization of all Slavic nations. By the late 1980s there was a shift in the Soviet government's attitude towards religion. At the height of Mikhail Gorbachev. S. Liberalization reforms The Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church was allowed again to function officially in December 1989. But then it found itself largely in disarray with the nearly all of its pre-1946 parishes and property lost to the Orthodox faith. The Church, actively supported by nationalist organizations such as RUK and later the UNA UNSO, took an uncompromising stance towards the return of its lost property and parishes. According to a Greek Catholic priest, even if the whole village is now Orthodox and one person is Greek Catholic, the church building belongs to that Catholic because the church was built by his grandparents and great-grandparents." The weakened Soviet authorities were unable to pacify the situation, and most of the parishes in Galicia came under the control of the Greek Catholics during the events of a large-scale inter-confessional rivalry that was often accompanied by violent clashes of the faithful provoked by their religious and political leadership. These tensions led to a rupture of relations between the Moscow Patriarchate and the Vatican. Topic. Current situation Topic. National surveys conducted since 2000 show that between 5.3% and 9.4% of Ukraine's total population are of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church. In surveys, 18.6 to 21.3 percent of believers or religious people in Ukraine were Greek Catholic. Worldwide, the faithful now number some 6 to 10 million, forming the largest particular Catholic Church, after the majority Latin Rite Church. According to a 2015 survey, followers of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church make up 8.1% of the total population excluding Crimea and form the majority in three oblasts. Lviv Oblast 59% of the population ivano frankivsk Oblast — 57% Ternopil Oblast — 52% Today, most Ukrainian Catholic churches have moved away from Church Slavonic and use Ukrainian. 
Many churches also offer liturgies in a language of the country the church is in, for example, German in Germany or English in Canada. However, some parishes continue to celebrate the liturgy in Slavonic even today, and services in a mix of languages are not unusual. In the early first decade of the 21st century, the major see of the Ukrainian Catholic Church was transferred to the Ukrainian capital of Kiev. The enthronement of the new head of the church major Archbishop Sviatoslav Shevchuk took place there on 27 March 2011 at the cathedral under construction on the left bank. On 18 August 2013, the Patriarchal Cathedral of the Resurrection of Christ was dedicated and solemnly opened. <laughs> Delatinization and protest the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church previously embarked on a campaign of delatinization reforms. These include the removal of the Stations of the Cross, the Rosary, and the Monstrance from their liturgy and parishes. In 2001 a priest, Vasil Kovpak, and a small group of followers opposed to certain policies such as delatinization and ecumenism of the UGCC hierarchy, organized themselves as the Priestly Society of St. Husafat SSJK. The SSJK possesses close ties with the Latin Rite Traditionalist Catholic Society of St. Pius X, which rejects and condemns certain actions and policies of both Husser and the Pope. On 21 November 2007 the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith excommunicated Kovpak. Critics claim that the SSJK's liturgical practice favors severely abbreviated services and imported Roman Catholic devotions over the traditional and authentic practices of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church. Proponents counter that these symbols and rituals, influenced long ago by their Polish Roman Catholic neighbors, have been practiced by Ukrainian Greek Catholics for centuries. To deny them today is to deprive the people of a part of sacred heritage which they have learned to regard as their own. In 2008, a group of Basilian priests at the Pidirtsi Monastery declared that four of them had been consecrated bishops without permission of the Pope or the major archbishop. The Pidirtsi Fathers had opposed delatinization, liberal theology, and the ecumenical approach of the hierarchy. Excommunicated in 2008, in 2009 they constituted themselves as the Ukrainian Orthodox Greek Catholic Church. <laughs> <laughs> Administration Ruthenian <laughs> Uniat and Partition of Poland Topic. Vilno Archipaki Metropolitan of Kiev, Russia. Polotsk Archipaki Polotsk, Russia. Smolensk Archipaki Smolensk, Russia. Lutske Ostro Eparchy Lutske, Russia. Turo Pinsk Eparchy Pinsk, Russia. Volodymyr Brest Eparchy Volodymyr Suprasol Eparchy in Germany. Halich Kamionets Eparchy Lviv, Lemberg Archipaki Metropolitan of Galicia in Austria. Chelm Bells Eparchy, Chelm, Austria. Shemizel Sanic Eparchy, Shemizel, Austria. Topic: Greek Catholic Church after the 1839 Synod of Polotsk. Topic: Archipaki of Lemberg, Lviv, Metropolitan of Galicia. Eparchy of Kulm and Bells, Chelm, territory lost due to Congress of Vienna. Eparchy of Premisel and Sonig Shemizel. Added Eparchy of Stanislau Ivano Frankisk. Added Apostolic Exarchate of Lemkaujina Sanic. Topic: Cathedral Temples. Topic: Ruthenian Uniate Church governing title Metropolitan of Kiev, Galicia and all Ruthenia. 1609–1746 Cathedral of the Theotokos, Vilnius by Hypatius Pasege 1746–1809 Cathedral of St. Trinity, Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church governing title Metropolitan of Galicia, since 2005 Major Archbishop of Kiev Galicia 1816–1946 St. George's Cathedral, Lviv 1946 to 1989 church liquidated by soviet authorities preserved on efforts of joseph slippage at santa sofia via bashia 1989 to 2011 st george's cathedral lviv 
2011 present Patriarchal Cathedral of the Resurrection of Christ, Kiev Topic. Current administrative division Topic. Note, the eparchy of Mukachevo belongs to the Ruthenian Catholic Church rather than the Ukrainian Greek Church. The Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church moved its administrative center from western Ukrainian Lviv to a new cathedral in Kiev on 21 August 2005. The title of the head of the UGCC was changed from the Major Archbishop of Lviv to the Major Archbishop of Kiev and Halych. The Patriarchal Curia of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church is an organ of Sviatoslav Shevchuk, the head of the UGCC, Major Archbishop of Kiev and Halych, which coordinates and promotes the common activity of the UGCC in Ukraine to make influence on society in different spheres, education, policy, culture, etc. The Curia develops action of the Church's structures, enables relations and cooperation with other churches and major public institutions in religious and social areas for implementation of the social doctrine of the Catholic Church through everyday life. The current eparchies and other territorial jurisdictions of the Church are Ukrainian Catholic Major Archipaki of Kiev Halych Ukrainian Catholic Archipaki of Kiev Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopal Exarchate of Crimea Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopal Exarchate of Donetsk Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopal Exarchate of Kharkiv Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopal Exarchate of Lutske Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopal Exarchate of Odessa Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopal of Lviv Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Stry Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Sambir Drohobych Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Sokol Zovikva Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopy of Ternopil Zaborov Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Buchich Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Kamienes Podilsky Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopy of Ivano Frankivsk Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Chernivtsi Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Kolomia Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopy of Shemizel Warsaw Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Wrocław Gdańsk Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopy of Winnipeg Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Edmonton Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Toronto and Eastern Canada Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Saskatoon Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of New Westminster Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopy of Philadelphia Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Chicago Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Stamford Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Parma Ukrainian Catholic Archiepiscopy of Curitiba Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Prudentopolis Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Argentina under the ecclesiastical province of Buenos Aires Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy in Australia, New Zealand and Oceania under the ecclesiastical province of Melbourne Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy in Great Britain Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy in France Apostolic Exarchate in Germany and Scandinavia for the Ukrainians asterisk asterisk directly subject to the Holy See As of 2014, the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church is estimated to have 4,468,630 faithful, 39 bishops, 3,993 parishes, 3,008 diocesan priests, 399 religious order priests, 818 men religious, 1459 women religious, 101 deacons, and 671 seminarians. Monastic orders and religious congregations Topic. List of orders and congregations Topic. Male Topic. Order of Saint Basil the Great Studite Brethren Order of the Most Holy Redeemer Congregation of the Salesian Fathers of Saint Don Bosco Miles Jesu Missionary Congregation of St. Andrew the Apostle Topic. Female Topic. Sisters of the Order of St. Basil the Great Sisters Servants of Mary Immaculate 
Sisters of Saint Joseph, the spouse of the Virgin Mary, related to Sisters of Saint Joseph. Sisters Catechists of Saint Anne, related to Sisters of Saint Anne. Sisters of the Holy Family. Sisters of the Priest and Martyr Saint Husafat Kuntsevich. Sisters of Mercy of Saint Vincent de Paul, related to Daughters of Charity of Saint Vincent de Paul. Salesian Sisters. Sisters of the Most Holy Eucharist. Myrrh bearing sisters under the protection of Saint Mary Magdalene. Topic: Prison ministry of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church. Topic: In contemporary Ukraine, prison ministry of chaplains does not exist de jure. The prison pastoral care was at the very heart of the spirituality of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church throughout her history. Prison pastoral of the UGCC was restored in 1990 after the church, formerly forbidden, emerged from the underground. Pastoral care has grown steadily from several establishments in the western part of Ukraine to more than 40 penal institutions in every region of the country. Since 2001 the UGCC is the co-founder of the Ukrainian interdenominational Christian mission, Spiritual and Charitable Care in Prisons, including 12 churches and denominations. This mission is a part of the World Association of Prison Ministry. The most active prison chaplains are the Redemptorist Fathers. In the year 2006 Lubomir Husser established in the Patriarchal Curia of the UGCC the Department for Pastoral Care in the Armed Forces and in the Penitentiary System of Ukraine. This structure implements a general management of prison ministry. The chief of the department is Most Rev. Michael Colton, Bishop of Sokol and Zovikva. The head of the unit for penitentiary pastoral care is Rev. Constantine Pandely, who is directly responsible for coordination of activity in this realm. He is in direct contact with 37 priests in 12 eparchies who have been assigned responsibility for prison pastoral care. Those pastors ensure regular attendance of penitentiary facilities, investigatory isolators and prisons. Topic. See also. Topic. Major events, Christianization of Kievan Rus, Ruthenia, conversion of Kom Eparchy Western Ukrainian clergy, list of major archbishops of Kiev Galicia and list of metropolitans and patriarchs of Kiev, Andrei Sheptitsky, Yosef Slipy, Ryhori Komishin, Husafata Hordashevska Jublik Supporting organizations, Ukrainian Catholic University, Ukraine Prison Ministry, Priestly Society of St. Husafat Related organizations, Ruthenian Catholic Church Greek Catholic Eparchy of Mukachevo, Belarusian Greek Catholic Church Granting of autocephaly to the Ukrainian Orthodox Church Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Articles in Zerkalo Nadeli Mirror Weekly, Moscow, Vatican and an Unpredictable Weather in Ukraine, March 2004, in Ukrainian and in Russian. Account of the history of the Unia and its disestablishment in 19th century Russia, in Russian. Orientals Omnes Ecclesias, encyclical on the reunion of the Ruthenian Church with Rome, His Holiness Pope Pius XII, promulgated on December 23, 1945. Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Greek Catholics in America. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Gudziak, Boris A. 2001. Crisis and Reform, The Kievan Metropolitanate, The Patriarchate of Constantinople, and the Genesis of the Union of Brest. Harvard University Press. Cambridge, Massachusetts. Kurovsky, A. As Pope and Russian Patriarch Meet, Ukraine Fears a Shaky Vatican. The Ukrainian Weekly, 19 February 2016. Topic. External links Topic. Official website Live video broadcasts of Ukrainian Catholic Divine Liturgy and recordings Official website of the Kiev Archipaki St. Joseph Ukrainian Catholic Church St. Elias Ukrainian Catholic Church 
Saint John the Baptist Ukrainian Catholic Church At the Service of Church Unity Information website of the Religious Information Service of Ukraine Article on the UGCC by Ronald Roberson on the CNEWA website www.damianhungs.de in German. <laughs>